Hello friends, welcome to Zeta Axis and today we are going to discuss about important rivers of Gujarat. We have already discussed about Narmada river. So we will discuss about rivers other than Narmada flowing through Gujarat. The first river is Tapti river. Tapti river is the second longest west flowing river in peninsular India after Narmada. Tapti river just like Narmada flows in a rift valley. The Tapti river flows for a total length of 724 km and it flows through Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra and Gujarat. The Tapti river basin is 65,415 square km and the Tapti river basin includes Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra and Gujarat. Now let's discuss the course of Tapti river. Tapti river originates from Betul district in Madhya Pradesh. Tapti river from Betul district flows along the boundary of Madhya Pradesh and Maharashtra and again re-enters Madhya Pradesh in Burhanpur. From Burhanpur, the Tapti river flows into Jalgaon district where Tapti river meets Purna river. Purna river is a major left bank tributary of Tapti and the Purna river originates from Gwaligar hills. The Purna river joins the Tapti river in Jalgaon district of Maharashtra. Within Jalgaon district, Girna river meets Tapti river. The Girna river originates in Nasik district of Maharashtra and it flows through Jalgaon district to join Tapti river. Chanakpur Dam and Girnara Dam are constructed on Girna River. On the borders of Jalgaon and Dul district, Panjara River meets the Tapti River. Panjara River originates in Dul district. Panjara River flows through the Khandes region of Maharashtra to meet Tapti River in Dul district. The Tapti River enters Gujarat in Tapti district, where Ukai Dam is built on Tapti River. Finally, the Tapti River flows into Arabian Sea in Surat. The next river is Mahi river which is also a west flowing river originating from Madhya Pradesh. The Mahi river then enters Rajasthan and then flows through Gujarat before flowing into Gulf of Khambhat. The Mahi river originates in western Vindhya range in Dhar district of Madhya Pradesh. After its origin Mahi river flows in the northern direction flowing through Jabua and Ratlam district. Then it enters Rajasthan in Banswara district. Within Bansawara district, Anas river meets Mahi river. Anas river originates in Sadan Jabua district of Madhya Pradesh. The Mahi river enters Gujarat in Mahisagar district and finally drains into Gulf of Khambat in Baroda district. The next important river of Gujarat is Sabarmati. Sabarmati river originates in Aravli hills of the Udaipur district of Rajasthan. The Sabarmati river flows into Gujarat in Sabarkantha district. Ahmedabad city is located on the banks of Sabarmati river. The Sabarmati river continues to flow and drains into Gulf of Khambat. The next important river of Gujarat is Luni river. Luni is also known as Lavanyavari or Lavanyavati which means salt river. Luni is the largest river in Thar desert of northwestern India. It originates in Pushkar valley of Aravli range near Ajmer. It is first known as Sagarmati. Then after passing through Govindgar, it meets its tributary Saraswati which originates from Puskar Lake and from here on the river is called Luni River. The river then flows into southwestern direction through the hills and plains of Marwad region in Rajasthan. Luni River enters Gujarat in Kutch district where it ends in the marshy lands of Ron of Kutch. Next important river is Banas River. The Banas River originates from the southern Aravli range in Suruhi district of Rajasthan. It flows south, draining the valley between Mount Abu on the west. It continues south through the plains of Gujarat state, flowing through Banas Katha and Patan district to flow into little run of Kutch. Next important river of Gujarat is Bhadar River, which flows in Saurashtra Peninsula of Gujarat. It originates in Rajkot district and then it flows into Arabian Sea near Porbandar. The next river is Chaturanji River which also flows in the Saurashtra Peninsula of Gujarat. It is an eastward flowing river in Bhavnagar district of Gujarat. The Chaturanji River rises northeast of Gir Hills in Amreli district. The river flows in east direction through Bhavnagar to empty into Gulf of Khambat. The next important river of Gujarat is Purna River which flows through South Gujarat. It originates in Saputara Hills of Western Ghats in Dang district of Gujarat. 
and it flows into Arabian Sea. Next river is Ambika River. It is also a major river in South Gujarat. The river originates in Saputara Hills in Nasik district of Maharashtra and the Ambika River travels for 136 km before flowing into Arabian Sea in Nausari district. Ambika River flows through Vansida National Park. The next river of Gujarat is Daman Ganga, also known as Davan River. It rises in Sayadri Hills in Nasik district of Maharashtra. The river flows through Maharashtra and Gujarat states as well as Union territory of Dadra and Nagar Haveli and Daman and Diu. The cities of Wapi and Selvasa lie on the banks of Daman Ganga River. I hope you like this video and if you have liked then please subscribe and share with your friends. Do follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you.